Well, there is an absolutely gorgeous beach down at Cate and Bain, Scarborough. Absolutely gorgeous. But it's bloody cold. It is cold. The sun keeps popping out every five minutes, but it's just not that warm. And he's just been in the sea, but I couldn't go in because there was a jellyfish. Actually, there was two jellyfish in there and it just totally freaked me out and I couldn't go in there. Kaylin's been busy. Kaylin didn't want to go in. She went in a little bit, but then she didn't want to go in after that. But she has been busy. She says she's making a house. She found one house brick <laughs> amongst all the rocks. So now she's making a house. It's a long-term deposit. Are you finding some more bricks for your house, Sterling? This is cute. Is that a cute one? Yeah. Yeah? Are you putting that on? <laughs> <laughs> is that where it goes? Okay. What I like about this place is it kind of reminds me a little bit of Tembe in Wales, Pembrokeshire. That beach down there, Churchill's Cove, absolutely stunning. This is like a gigantic version of it. Just with all the greenery around to look at. It's not like in Lincolnshire, everything's dead flat. And there's nothing really to look at apart from bits of grass. <laughs> All right, darling, she wants me to climb over the rocks now. I like it here. There's a nice little park up, but it does get quite packed on a weekend in particular. Oh, it's practically on our doorstep from where we're from. Oh, <laughs> so I can't believe I've never been before. I'm so brave, aren't you? Always exploring. You finding some more bricks for your house? Mm -hmm. Yeah? We just don't climb up that big cliff, do we? Mm -hmm. She attempted it. <laughs> I had to shout her down. I was over, the, over there on the rock and she uh, <laughs> she started climbing. I said, uh, no, <laughs> look how steep it is. The clouds are looking a little bit suspect, so we're going back now. Look at this waterfall. Are you in it? It's freezing, isn't it, darling? <laughs> Is that good? Are you going in very fast? Yeah. Go on then. That's so funny. Are you going to do it again? <laughs> I'm going to do it again now. Go on See the honey. Oh, another one's coming. Your whistle's working. Oh wow! I think the flies are doing their heads in, aren't they? I'm whistling another one. You're whistling another one. Are you the cow whis whistler? This should be a new experience. We're off out for a socially distanced Yorkshire pudding with Yorkshire van life. I better stay behind the line. No, this is where the marks and where people crop it. What did you have to say? I'll just get the grade of the, the yeah, not the onion one. Just a small portion. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>
anybody nice that's seen Purdy's Yorkshire puddings will know that there's something oh. wrong with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting because I was awkward. Because you were awkward. I'm awkward. Very awkward. I think my eyes were bigger than my belly. Kaylin's eyes were bigger than her belly. And for once, Kirsty's eyes were bigger than I, her belly. And I've got one. three, uh, three cauliflower on my fat dumb bud. Chris's eyes weren't as big as his belly. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a bit poo. I've just been out to pump some bait. Must have pumped 80 holes. I got sick after getting one worm. So that's made that a little bit difficult. So, next method, I haven't got a crab line. One microfiber towel holder, parachute cord, lead weight, bait. I have got some razor clams from uh, Morrison's though. So yeah, I'm gonna go and see if I can get some crabs shortly. We'll see what happens. I am going fishing at midnight tonight, or 10 o'clock, nine o'clock even. Out on the pizza. I'm actually in, I'm in four minds, so I'm not just debating, I'm <laughs> masturbating. <laughs> no, I won't miss out on the pizza because you'll save me a couple of slices, and after that big fat Sunday lunch on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> After that big fat Tuesday Sunday lunch, um, I'm a little bit uh, Come on. Come on. bloated. So, yeah, you can save me some pizza, love. And besides, you're having Mexicana tonight, and I'm not that keen on anything spicy. I, I like stuff like that, though. I know. I know. Looking I'm just thinking of one. you. But Chris said that it wasn't that spicy. Right guys, I'm fishing some uh, rocky ground tonight, so I need to knock up a couple of new rigs. Breakaway, escape links. Basically what happens is you clip your lead into there. Like so. And you have a little plastic cap. That pushes down on there for when you cast in, that keeps it in position. I'm using 40 pound amnesia. To the weight. Tying it on with a tucked blood knot. Like so. Got the end off there. fishing a one-up rig and that's on a pulley <laughs> set that on a swivel ah. need a little bead first Shove one at the other end as well, actually. On that. Like so, and that'll stop the knot riding up into the pulley. Another one there. Took blood knot through the eye of the swivel. One, two, 
three, four, five, and then back through that loop that it's created at the end on the sixth turn. And then back through on itself again. Wet it down, stop any friction, stop it burning the line, making a soft spot. And pull it back through like that. And then 30 pound amnesia for the hookling. About 18 inches. Again, took blood knot to the three, four, five, six. Back through that loop. Thank you. And just to stop the bait riding up the hook and a little bit of extra attractor, I'm sticking a glow in the dark bead on that. And all I'm doing with that is once through the hole, then round it, and then back through again. I mean, as I'm using a biggish bait. <laughs> using a 3 0 Sakuma on this one. Tie the knot exactly the same again. So. Took blood knot. One pulley rig. So I'll do another couple of them. Right guys. Flat lead, weedy conditions. Onto the escape link and Slide that down to keep it all locked in. Now, the idea behind this is if you do get wedged into a rock, you should be able to put enough pressure on that the lead breaks free. However, I was chatting to somebody last night and he doesn't, he fishes rocky areas with a breakaway. And his idea was, if the sea is running a bit and you've got a flat lead and it moves, it drops into a little crevice and it gets wedged. You now his idea was, if it moves, 
drops into a ledge or gets stuck, it should, with a breakaway, still not sink into a small hole. So I'm going to give that a try tonight and see how it works out. Seem to be working well with him. I didn't see him get snagged up in the hour or so that I was with him. So tonight I will try his method fishing a breakaway on the rocks. Sounds like a drink that doesn't it? Like so. So yeah, if there's any crevices out there and it gets wedged in, the breakaway ledge should move away like so. Or alternatively, if you've got a smaller lead and it got wedged into a crack, like that one, and it got wedged in, it's not going to come out. So I will give that method a try tonight. And I think we've got at least another couple of hours before I can get out there fishing. And also, with fishing a pulley rig, the idea behind that is stick a lead on that and just temper it. When you get a fish on, it pulls your lead up out of the way of any rocks so you stand even less chance of getting caught up so that's what I'm fishing tonight guys pulley rigs razor clam and I'm gonna give that a try see if I can get some crabs Daddy, I have a wiggy until you can go fishing yeah yeah we got one wiggly worm didn't we yeah just one Rod's done. Look out, Kaylin. What's that? What have you got there? A wiggly worm. A wiggly worm. What sort of worm is it? Hmm? Nothing. Nothing? That is a blow lug. Yeah, with a little green tip on its tail there. Not quite as big as them we were getting uh, elsewhere, was it? They were about a foot long, weren't they? And as thick as my thumb. But yeah. Rods, tackle wise, that is an Abu 6500, Abu Ambassador, real. And that is a Grazer Iron. And that's. A six ounce lead and I think it's 13 foot or thereabouts yes that's a 13 foot and that I believe is a 12 foot six and that's a grazer Apollo and that is Abu 7000 GT Abu AG7. Uh, I've got 20 pound line on there. Could really do with a little bit heavier line to be honest, fishing rocks, but. And that is only 15 pound. So hopefully I won't get snagged up, otherwise I'm going to be losing some gear. So that's me set up. Tripod. Got all my rig gear sorted out. They're all pulley rigs in there, panel rigs, these are flapper rigs, so they, they've got like two and three hooks on those rigs. Um, I think I've got there for plugging, spinning, and for Mackie bashing, with my plugging rod. And there are a couple of spare rigs that I still didn't get round to uh, sorting out. But yeah, all organised again. And Look, 
looking lovely. There's already three guys down there. Don't know how they're doing. But yeah, now all I can do is wait for the tide to come in and perhaps get another cuppa. I'm cleaning my fingers. Hello beautiful. Fingers. I'm cleaning my fingers. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. How many fingers have you got? Six. Six? I have to clean them. Uh, have you got ten fingers? Mm, yeah. Yeah, you've got ten fingers. And do we really need to use one wet wipe per finger? <laughs> Kaylin, <laughs> you don't need to use all them. One more, that's it. There. I think you've got enough wet wipes. Alright. You don't need any more. Cup of time. My buddy Nigel sent me a text earlier on. The guy that I usually fish with when I'm down in Lincolnshire. That jammy bugger's had a bucket full of flatties today. As well as nine smooth hound. <clears throat> so the pressure's really on for tonight. Well, the crab rig worked. The uh, crab line. So, we just stuck one out on the left hand rod. Can't really see an awful lot now, it's getting bloody dark. So, yeah, and so far I've had one coalfish, which is better than nothing. Shot it back though, it was a little bit undersized, and I'm not fussed about eating them anyway. Well guys, that was a shit one. Uh, one coalfish, and uh, nothing else. But never mind, you can't win them all. Didn't even, didn't even bag it. So, yeah, till the next session. About to leave, already packing Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away, to a place where we don't know